Yeah, yeah tough one tonight, man. Tough one. When, when you get rolling like you did in the fourth quarter, and you know, before they're starting to send those, you, what, what's the feeling like when you're in that kind of groove? You see some recovery. Uh, I mean, it's an exciting feeling because uh, almost the defensive adjustments are predictable. You know, you just drive right or drive left, and they're sending help either from the baseline or from the other side of the paint and want to stop you. So it gives uh, my teammates and also when Luka gets double, it gives myself opportunities to attack with uh, numbers on our side. Uh, so I, I just really welcome that. And, um, you know, when the ball is in my hands and I don't see anybody coming to double, then that's my time to be aggressive. And teammates kept putting the ball in my hands. Um, had the matchup tonight, so we just taking full advantage of it. And I, I had some easy ones go for me tonight. And... You know, just continue to feed off a uh, good energy, man. But it was a total team effort tonight, really. I mean, we, we left it all out there on the floor tonight. You could feel that. Carl, we talked about the post-game celebration. Why was that important to you on the court, to have all the players come together like that? Uh, it's just more of those in-the-moment type things, to be honest with you. But um, as a competitor, you're so emotional about you know, this game. It's not really a game to us. You know, when you're out there and you're putting – you know, blood, sweat, and tears into it and being physical. And, of course, we feel the fans and we feel the atmosphere. But when you're a competitor out there and you're a teammate and you're seeing your teammates go to battle, that just does something to you. And, um, you know, we were dog tired after <laughs> after that uh, buzzer went off. So embrace is important after games like that just to be able to, um, you know, kind of touch your teammates and, and just make sure that we – we all know that the sacrifice is worth it. You know, not a lot of people can understand that because they're not part of team environment, more individualized in their work environment. But here in the team sport and the team aspect, when you can celebrate those moments as a team, because you know what it took. You know, we were in that locker room at halftime. You know, looking at each other, what are we going to do to get back into this game? You know, when they got off to that 22 point lead, we're looking at each other. So no one else is in that huddle but us and the coaching staff and of course management. But it just means something when you can come out with a win like that. It is a regular season game, but we know the position that we're in. I keep saying that and just kind of know uh, what it means to come out on uh, the other side of that, uh, you know, or to come on the other side of, of, of the matchup tonight victorious. So it feels good. It was a pretty good visual of you and Luca right there in the final seconds with that embrace. Speaking of tired, you both looked exhausted and happy. What does a moment like that say about the two of you guys and where you are and where the team is? Where the team is or me and Luca? Because we get all the questions about me and Luca, so. Where the team is? Yeah, where the team is or just, are you asking about the embrace that me and Luca have? What do you, you get, man? Uh, just, just kind of wondering, you know, with you and Luca and mm -hmm. the team that, the, the role that it's on right now and, yeah. and what you guys, you know, have been doing together to part that and. And you yourself are on a long stretch of, you know, being out there. So I just kind of wondered what a moment like that meal was. Oh, okay. Like. Yeah, no, I was just asking just for specifics. Um, you yeah, know, at, at the end of the game, you know, Luca was like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, man. And, and that's why I just hugged him, man, at the end of the game because, um, you know, he left it all out there. And he did all that he could. And um, everybody in this league is laboring in some sort of way, especially as we head into the playoffs. So... Uh, you just, I feel for them. I feel for uh, a lot of my teammates, and I know they feel for me. So uh, that was kind of like, again, one of those in the moment type things for us as brothers to embrace each other. We know how hard we've worked and uh, how, how much work it took to get to this point in the season. You know, there, there's still nothing guaranteed in terms of our seeding and where we're placed. Um, but we just know what it feels like to be on this side now together as a duo where we're committing to the defensive and the offensive end. We're committing to uh, our leadership roles and we're committing to our teammates and they're doing the same. So I think you're seeing the reciprocity uh, when you see the laughs or you see the smiles or you see us feeling good about each other. And even when we're down, we're still giving each other positive encouragement and that goes a long way in any work environment. So when the game is done, the buzzer sounds. It's good to give your brother a hug. Let him know, hey man, you did a great job tonight. You left it all out the floor. Now let's go get some, let's get some food and let's go see our families and lead this game behind us. Carter, you you and Luca get a lot of the attention with this team, but how fulfilling is it when you see guys like Exum and PJ Washington make big shots and help you win these games who weren't on this team last year? 
Uh, yeah, this is why they were brought in. Um, which is why we believe in them since the beginning of the season. Um, you know, Tom, excuse me, Dante, and then getting PJ at the um, at the trade deadline, getting Gafford, and, and just building our camaraderie off of that after the trade deadline. Um, you know, because it could have gone either way. We could have failed miserably, or we could be in a position where we're in now, where we've worked ourselves into um, a pretty good rhythm, and uh, we know what to expect each, from each other every single night. And we're welcoming the healthy challenges of the best teams in the league. And this is the mentality that you want to have going into the postseason is we're ready to take on all challengers and we're ready to um, see the best of the best. And in order to be the best of the best, you have to beat the best. And that's, that's our mentality now. And I think you see a lot of the pressure. It, it's created a lot of pressure on me and Luca, but we do a great job of dishing it off to our teammates too. They're aware of what goes on in our day-to-day -day lives of us being, you know, kind of the best players in the world. And um, I think we try to feed. I know I, I do, and Luca does a great job too, just feeding these guys confidence. And then the reward is on the other side of that. So whether they make shots or not, we're still going to believe in them. It's, it's not going to change. So just got to keep that consistent approach. With that. With that. So Luca passes up a look, uh, and with three seconds. Well, you think he should have shot? Him. Huh? You think he should have shot? Him? No, not apparently not. <laughs> no, no, that sounded like you wanted him to no, shoot. No, him. no, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, let me find out. What's going through your? You're like head? great players taking messed up shots for game winners. That's true. <laughs> like, okay. what's going Force it. Head? Force it. You're the best in the world. Force it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what's going through your head when you see him make that play, which was the right play? Uh, but you know. <laughs> the right play, man. It's so subjective. I love it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no. When I see no, him I, mean, make I was just wondering I what you were thinking you when you saw that pass. You saw that's. Did you think that's the right play? Make or miss? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a as a basketball uh, junkie, right? Uh, I've seen um, a lot of situations. I've been a part of a lot of situations. Uh, sometimes it goes well when you get a ball up in a situation like that. Sometimes it doesn't, but the trust has to be there and the confidence and the energy of the basketball has to flow into your teammate. And again, it's not about the make or miss. It's just about the fundamentals that Dante exuded when he needed to make the shot. Balance, shot ready, was ready for the moment. Let's give him credit. Let's give Luca credit because everybody did their job necessary in order for that play to work. It, it, he could have missed and we would be sitting here in a different situation. But I think that's what makes competitive sports beautiful. Anything could happen. And, you know, fortunate enough, it went well on our end. And Dante made the shot. But um, it was a great pass by Luca. I won't call it the right play. It was the best play possible for us at that moment. If Luca gets it again, I don't know if he passes. But. We'll, just, we'll sit up here and, and play the X's and O's on the Wonderman. <laughs> Thank you. Can you believe that was the first overtime game of the, of the season for you guys? Yeah, it felt like it. Yeah, <laughs> it felt like it. I think a lot, a lot of people were in the crowd were surprised, like, oh, it's only 5 o'clock overtime game here in Dallas. But, no, it was, it was beautiful, man. It was a great competitive game. Some ish talking going on back and forth, too. So that got us going a little bit in the beginning of the game.